All right, it's John here again with Explorer Videos, and this time we're checking out somebody's rig. Uh, tell us who you are and tell us about your truck. I'm Ian. I'm from Ontario, Canada. This is my 79 Bronco. I like to call it Warhorse. It's kind of a recycling bin of a bunch of parts from a different wheeling, from a bunch of different wheeling rigs too over the years. Uh, it's on 44 inch boggers, Dana 60 front, Dana 70 rear, Detroit locker in the rear, Heat knee locker in the front, extended Bronco radius arms in the front to keep things simple. They're around 47 inches long, 18 inch rad flow air shocks. Yep. Everything's tucked up in there pretty tight. Yep. Full PSC steering in the front. Let's see if I can get a shot of everything. Then in the back, when we get there, it is four linked with trailing arms. With 16 inch FOA coil overs. Alright, let's check out the back here for you. Let's see if I can get a good shot. So. The uh, trailing arms, I got the CAD file off of Do It Yourself Off Road website. I got a local guy to cut them out. And then you and then I welded did, them all together. So you fabricated all the links yourself. Yep. That's awesome. And then in the wheels I have double bead lock coyote coyote double bead locks from California. They worked out pretty nice to keep the retro rims. Got disc brakes in the back. Yeah, Willwood disc brake calipers in the back that I got off of the internet. They worked out pretty awesome. Off marketplace, right? Yeah, off yeah. of marketplace. Yeah. The rear Dana 70 was originally out of a mud truck from back in the day, hence the <laughs> yeah, different looking fabrication on the top links. But it's there, it works, it hasn't fell off, so why change it? Yeah, it's been all revived and. Yeah. Rebuilt, I guess you'd say, right? Yep. What gears are in the axles? Uh, the axles got four tens. Yep. I would like to re-gear it at some point, but it's not too necessary right now with the other stuff I got on the go. It has a T19 or T18 transmission NP205 transfer case, just standard Bronco so, drive line. For people who don't know, that's like the old Farmer Ford gear. That's got like a super, super low crawl. And then an NP205, big old cast iron T case in behind it. Yeah. Might as well check it out. Yeah. Yep. Mastercraft seats in it. Yeah. I got Mastercraft seats. The driver's seat's broken right now because I'm 250 pounds and <laughs> the old 79 rotten bracket didn't stand up to me very good. But I got the wheeling weekend out of it. No, it's definitely a cool rig. You don't see these things around. Yeah. Really don't see them out on the trail very often, so. Then this is the bed cage, soon to turn into roll cage. <laughs> yep. I painted it with steel it. Yep, so it's got a custom fabricated bed cage. You can see the trail all ties into the main hoop. It'll eventually be turned into a complete roll cage, right? Like, yeah. yeah. It'll be a roll cage, seats mounted to the cage like they should be. Yeah. And while we're back here, you can see my hooker arrow chamber mufflers tied into the bumper. And you can see on the side of the frame, there's a couple over holes to yep. poke the get the exhaust tubes there. through. So it's all tucked up nice and high. So it's all two and a half inch, right? Yep, full two and a half from the headers back. Yep. All right, let's check it under the power bar in there. So unlike most Fords, it's hard to get the hood open on this one. So <laughs> I gotta give it a little bit of a slap. She likes it rough. But uh, I haven't painted the shock hoops, but. So the obvious thing is the 18 inch rad yeah. flows have uh, <laughs> needed a place to live, so to speak. So there's a large shock tower coming up off the frame uh, yep and then, uh, so what do you got power in this beast so 
the Broncos came with a 351 modified originally and this one's a 351 modified with a bit of a can intake long tubes seems to run pretty good with the holly 670 truck avenger on it i do have plans to put efi on it one day i also have a hefty 400 build going on in the shop which we could put in another video someday we'll have that in an upcoming video yeah so yeah you can see uh, there's definitely a bit of mud and uh you can tell it gets used. It's not just a yeah. pavement princess, so to speak. It's a it's a wheeling truck. Yep. Awesome. Well, it works pretty good. It uh, turnkey. <laughs> I also do have it on the road, so I can drive to the ice cream store once in a while or <laughs> yep. go to work. It drives pretty good down the street with the full PSC hydro steering. Yep. I've been very happy with it. I have no uh, regrets building it. <laughs> yeah. The so bank account's a little slim, but you gotta pay to play. Yeah, and it's a work in progress, right? Yeah, like it's a work in progress. You got more plans for it, like a full cage. Yeah, full cage. I wanna tie it into the shock hoops with a dash bar behind the dash. Kinda like a pre-runner. I'm six foot one, so. Yeah. I want to make some space for myself to fit in the truck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not really a pre-runner because they're up in Ontario, yeah. Canada. It's, it's, it's more like a, a pre-runner. It's like a pre-mudder, I would call it, because yeah. it's got the... It's a trail truck. <laughs> yeah. It drives down the trail. I drive it down the road. Kind of Whatever's does. in its way, I can usually <laughs> get through. If not, yeah. somebody will be around to get it out uh building one of these trucks is pretty straightforward because both frame rails are mirror image so to build any plates like these here that my shock hoops tie into i had to i only had to make two of the same plate yeah. so to tie it all in is real easy same with putting all the brackets on the frame there's lots of holes on both sides of the frame rails to make it to have a reference where to start from yeah um, my trailing arm brackets on the frame are from Camberg Engineering. Uh, they worked out pretty awesome. They're from their Bronco uh, four-link kit. Uh, my I got TMR anti wobble joints, TMR pinch bungs. A lot of my parts are from TMR. Now I don't have the anti wobbles in it right now, but I do plan on sticking them in for extra insurance if I bash something off a rock I don't break the end of my coil over yeah it's got chrome only shafts yeah full chrome only shafts front and rear uh the front shafts just have Dana Spicer axle joints with full circle clips yeah typical I haven't broke it yet it's a pretty tough truck it's got these aftermarket headlights. So. Yep, I've got uh, LED gro Grody headlights. Uh, I got the Grody headlights because they kind of look stock and they work really good. Yeah. When they have my off road truck that I drive once in a while has better headlights than my daily driver. <laughs> yeah. But cool. Well, why don't we get some shots of it flexing up so we can show everybody what the trailing arms are like and the. Yep. So we got her all flexed up, so you guys can kind of see what's going on under it. Got those custom built trailing arms, the camber brackets, some two and a half inch coilovers. Big old school Dana 70. 
believe it was originally out of a tow truck or something, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. So it was abused from day one back in 1973. Yeah, and then uh, the rear drive shaft's actually a front drive shaft from a Super Duty, right? Yep. So, 1350 joints, double car again. Then an NP205 transfer case. What train is in it? It's a T18. Okay, so old T18, four gear. A big Dana 60 up front. Those extra long custom built radius arms. It definitely all fits in there pretty good. And as you can see, the front radius arms and the trailing arms pretty well meet right in the middle of the truck. The brackets are actually overlapping each other. Awesome. Just want to say a big thanks to Ian for showing us his completely custom 1979 Ford Bronco. And uh, just want to thank you guys again for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.